Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some tips on how to maximize happiness gained through spending. The connection between spending and happiness. It has been shown that having a high income improves the evaluation of life, but not emotional well-being. Psychological research has shown that purchases relating to experiences, such as a trip, camping trip, a vacation to Europe, bring more happiness than material purchases, such as a new MacBook or a new pair of shoes. People talk more about their experiences than their possessions and derive more value from doing so. I'm going to talk about five ways to get the most happiness from your spending. We should buy experiences, not material things. Buying experiences and not things because we tend to get used to things. Objects tend to be more permanent than experiences. However, the enjoyment we get from experiences lives on. It is more fun to tell people about adventures you had in Hawaii than to brag about the features of your new iPhone 8. Part two, to spending happily. Buy yourself little treats. Indulge in treats, but don't buy the same treats every day. And try buying many smaller things that you enjoy, rather than a few expensive ones. Going out to dinner every day makes the activity less special. It can also add up to a lot of money. If you go out to dinner only once a week, you'll save money and also look forward to your one meal out a week. Also, pick to eat at a different place every week to mix things up. Going to the same restaurant every week takes away some of the excitement. Part 3. Buy time. Many of us don't spend enough time doing things that we really enjoy. Look for ways to get more time to enjoy things, even at the cost of some money. Avoid falling into habituation. Take a vacation over the weekend and go somewhere new. Spend your free time doing things you enjoy. A small weekend trip doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but should mean something. Part 4. Pay now, consume later. This concept is super applicable for your personal finances. This concept also allows anticipation to build for upcoming experiences, which makes you more excited for future events. If you book a flight to New York now for a trip in a half a year, it'll be cheaper than booking a flight to New York the day before. Also, the anticipation of the trip builds to your excitement and enjoyment of it. Even though a compulsive vacation brings immediate satisfaction, it'll be more costly and you don't have anticipation. Part five, invest in others. People who donate to charity give gifts to friends and help others report more happiness per dollar spent than those who buy gifts for themselves. Spend some of your extra money on other people. Buying your mom a small gift will bring you more joy than buying something small for yourself. After watching this video, I hope you have created a better understanding on how to spend your money wisely and which makes you happy.